Hi, I'm Ryan Hashe, and I'd like to welcome you to my course. And I'd also like to congratulate you for being here. Uh, this may be a little bit out of your comfort zone, and we're going to get down and dirty and just really learn a lot of stuff. So I'd like to congratulate you for, for taking that step and, and moving outside of your comfort zone. I'm going to dive right into the whole overview of search engine optimization in this video. Um, and I'm going to explain from a bird's eye view all of the major key factors that you need to know. So after watching this video, you're going to totally look at the internet to, in a different light and let's get right to it. So how do I discover untapped traffic gold mines? That's, that's the question right now. And how do I generate, how do I use that knowledge to generate a stampede of traffic coming to my website every day? Now, I'm going to explain that to you in this video. So right off the bat, when people think of search engine optimization, um, if you just ask any random person, they usually refer to search engine optimization as on-page optimization. So essentially, uh, modifying your website, updating your title and description and all of that stuff. That's what you think of generally when you think of search engine optimization. But it's really more than that. It's really about creating a strategy uh, behind who you want to attract um, and doing the research and to putting the time into to creating a plan. Okay, This is an online marketing plan in itself. And when you do it properly, you can really change the amount of traffic that comes into your business. So here's the biggest mistake most people make. Uh, most people, when they do on-page optimization, they start out by you know picking some words that are related to their business. A lot of people pick you know the title of their company and stuff like that. And what that does is here, here's an example, an illustration at the top here. This cloud represents the search engines, and the arrows represent the keywords that people are searching for. Now, the little people that I put into the arrows represent the number of people searching for that identical keyword. Okay, so when most people create their website. They usually build their website to sit right here in these arrows that have no traffic to them. Okay, now what we do in search engine optimization is before we even touch a, win a code window, we always do our keyword research. We extensively do keyword research to understand not only what keywords these arrows are, you know, producing traffic but we want to know exactly what type of people are in these arrows so that we can guarantee that those those people inside those arrows are going to can turn into sales or leads on and generate on our back end of our sales funnel so we want to we want to look at those as look at those people from a psychological perspective as well um, and that's what my course is all about I'm going to teach you how to determine which arrow to go after and over the next three days you're going to learn a lot about keyword research and I can't wait to share it all with you. Now in a nutshell I'm just going to cover number two and number three. Uh, number two is the Y axis. So if you see my cursor here you basically are picking where your website, which lane, you're basically I've got lanes of traffic here. Now you're in, in step two on-page optimization. All you're doing is picking a lane. So without knowing how many people in in the keyword research phase are in that lane, you're you're just picking blindly, right? So by knowing in the keyword research phase which lane you want to target, you can easily then pick the lane that has the most people and the most conversions on the back end. Now the third phase is the most important, or is the second most important in my opinion and it's also the hardest to master um, off-page optimization now this is where you're gonna you know there's a there's over 200 factors in the Google algorithm so we're not going to get into all of the different uh, factors of the algorithm today in this video but what, what I will say is this phase is essentially manipulating or complying with the Google algorithm to increase your ranking from not being listed on the front page all the way to getting your listing in, in number one position on the search engines. So I hope you enjoy the course and I'll see you inside.